Do, do, do. I'll pass this back. If anyone's down in our overflow room, there are seats here. Please come and join us. You're going to miss out on half of the experience. I hope you've all been enjoying yourselves. Welcome to our last day, or well, the last day for you, possibly not the last day for us, but I mean, yeah, you'll hear more about that at the close, everything that's gone on, how we got here, how much fun we've had, hopefully how, how much fun you've had. So, usual bit of housekeeping, we want to keep this fast, you're here for a reason and it isn't me, I know that. Lost and found at Reggio, we've had lots of things handed in, please go and see them, you guys are really, really awesome, at, you know, helping out your fellow attendees. Reminder, no smoking on campus, not just in the buildings, even when you're up on the grassy knoll, you're still on campus, in fact, you're standing on the roof of the building. Right, that is not a fire evacuation point. Right? You may get slightly warm feet if there's a fire. Right? Room changes, we've mostly been lucky. Please bear with us. Right? Uh, we did try and get the best range of rooms possible. There are still toiletries left. Some of you who are here a few more days, go and help yourselves. T-shirts and stuff are for sale at Reggio. We'll come back to that in a minute. If you've got any coffee cards left, they're still valid for today. The guys are going to be running that machine as long and hard as possible. Uh, apparently, they did a record day yesterday, which is amazing. Um, for those of you who are in Nikkei for the hardware and radio mini comps, the guys have collected a whole series of pictures from all of the assembly and production and everything that's been going on there. If you have any issues about your photographs being published, please come to Reggio and let us know. Uh, as soon as possible because they'd like to be able to publish those online and catalogue what you guys have been up to over there. Oh, sorry, people, humans, sorry, I... It's very hard to change the way we speak. And for those of you who went in Leslie Hawthorne's session, please watch the video. It is incredibly important to realise that our default behaviours aren't always appreciated by other people. You are going home soon. So check out for the university accommodation is 10 a.m. on whichever your last day is. If you wish to extend that, please come and see us at Reggio as soon as possible, rather than go and see your accommodation provider, and we can try and work some magic in the background. Um, what are we doing about luggage? Luggage. Uh, come and talk to us if you have luggage issues, uh, there's things we can try and work out. We're going to be here tomorrow packing out anyway, so there are options. If you're trying to get to the airport, please use the wiki, use the arrivals and departures page, use the chat list, talk up with other people. There's a big group of you leaving around on flights around 7am tomorrow. So try and hook up, because you're looking at about a 4 a.m. transfer to get out to the airport if it's an international flight for a kind of 5, 5.30 check-in. Uh, I'll warn you, it's not much fun waiting at the airport for the actual um, customs and immigration gates to open at 5.30, because that's when they do open. So come and see the Rego team if you need any assistance with booking minivans and buses and things to get out to the airport. Usual thing, we don't have any more buses or any more functions officially today. That's where the fire evacuation points are. And the University Food Court really likes us at the moment. You guys have been finding that and congregating there in the lunch times. Conference program, as usual, you've all got that bookmarked. We need to thank our sponsors. Catalyst, IBM and HP. Each of our Emperor sponsors is also sponsored on the afternoon teas. Today it's HP's turn, so big thank you to them. And please remember that Catalyst... <laughs> Catalyst are doing their beer o'clock at their Auckland office this afternoon, so we can get you all off-site. Red Hat and Google, big thank you to them. OSS, who've been our lanyard sponsor and also provided numerous facilities leading up to this event. 
Just an extra thank you to our diversity sponsors because the last few days I've talked to several of the participants that we funded to get here under that program. One has had very limited work for the last few years and now has three jobs lined up thanks to coming to this conference. Another one was a co-presenter in a talk that was on yesterday. They have had several people come up to me and say it was the highlight of their time at LCA. It was one of the most technical involving talks. It was two presenters from India and they were outstanding. And we managed to get the co-presenter here thanks to that diversity fund. There's limited swag left. I think we may be sold out of the power banks now. Right? Ooh. Right, so there's some coffee cups, bags, t-shirts, the stickers, go and help yourselves. You have been truly awesome. This has been an awesome event because of you. Thank you. Now, where's my Daniel? I'm just going to hand this over for a moment. Double, double click. Technology. Does anybody know technology? We. <laughs> there we go. Now? Yeah. Now? Because I don't really need it. Um, <laughs> Diamond Age has been good enough to donate a $2,000 printer to us, which is freaking awesome. Thank you, Diamond Age. We're raising money for cystic fibrosis, and we haven't even raised $5,000 yet. Runners, we have raffle tickets. We're going to delay this awesome keynote <laughs> until you people cough up. So, raffle tickets, three. I have old eyes. One for five, three for 10, six for 20, 60 for 200. We've got, fif yeah. we've got 15 books to sell. Yeah. Runners, look for hands. $350 a book, you buy 15 books right now, we can get this keynote going. $350 a book. <laughs> No, this is a you. Hold up your hands if you want to get a raffle ticket. If you want to get a whole book, 350. There's one. 350 for a book of raffle tickets. Who is the next? Who is the 350 over there? Get them that book. Yes, yeah, someone just bought a book. Okay. Hold up your hands for runners to get your raffle. 350. Just keep your hands up if you want a runner to bring your raffle tickets. Wave your arms furiously if you want to get 350 dollars worth. 350? 350. Runners down here. Runners? Mark Atwood from HP. Mark Atwood from Emperor, sponsor HP. HP did not buy this book. He just dropped $350 on raffle tickets. If you don't... You rock, Mark. If you don't happen... And we have a book for... Nick Clifford from Call Plus, who is awesome, just bought a $350 book of raffle tickets. Again, wave your arms furiously if you want a book. If you do not need a 3D printer, you can donate it back to us. We'll put it on Trade Me and auction that off for, for um, cystic fibro fibrosis. Hello. In the meantime, keep your hands up so the runners can get to you. They look like they're keeping busy right now. Anybody else for a $350 book? I don't remember. I, sadly, I could not afford to fly to Perth last year. But we usually raise over $10,000 for charity. We're just trying to bring this number up, make Diamond Age's contribution count even more. So keep your hands up. Thank you. Well, you want to yeah. for another two minutes and tell people they can buy them outside? Yeah, 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 that's... So we're going to start the keynote in a couple of minutes. Just keep your hands up. Again, wave your arms vigorously if you suddenly want to spend $350, because that would be great. People with cystic fibrosis, seriously, you've seen in the videos the last few days, do need this. Your help is deeply appreciated. All the runners have got them.
can sort it out when we get outside, okay? Right. You shout it out and then it'll happen. Okay, since people want to donate money and don't necessarily want tickets, we are now officially passing the literal hat. If you don't care about the tickets, just wave me down and throw money. Oh, Throwing guys. money is perfectly fine. You don't have to have raffle tickets. You don't need a printer. Anybody else? Just throwing money? As, as wonderful money? as Daniel is, we do need to get things moving. We, need we will to get be selling moving. more tickets. So I'll be randomly walking through, just taking money for the hat. Once, you're th once the yeah. keynote is through, William. feel perfectly encouraged to come outside because after yeah. the keynote. When we wrap up, after the keynote, we will we'll be have selling people tickets outside the back of the door. If the Daniel, coming back down the other side. Yeah. Daniel, when we wrap up, we'll have people at the back door selling tickets. In fact, we'll also have people back at Rego selling tickets. At, after the keynote, we're going to let this thing get going. Now, we'll have people with bags. At I the need back to stop the loud the American. That would be awesome. Thank you very much. You are all amazing, thank you. So in return, we have some more prizes. So, ooh, ooh, I need to run my random random generator. Someone asked me last night how far in advance we generate these things, usually when I'm standing here. So, Ooh. Right. You better be here or you don't get to take this home. The big prize, the raffle, you don't have to be here for the clothes. We will make sure that gets to you. But this prize, if you're not in the room, we'll move on to the next name, is Hadley Rich Present. So we're still using a couple of these at Red Joe. Please come and see us around lunchtime or around the close so we can uh, uh, reset it and hand it over. The same for those I've not already contacted about picking up the prizes from earlier in the week. Now today, we've got more prizes. So the guys, the team at Catalyst, ooh, told you it's hard, very, very hard. The team at Catalyst, have given us one of these cute little drones to give away. So, Anton Blanchard. <laughs> I'm obviously missing out on a joke here. Is Anton present? He's up there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it was tempting. In addition to that, the team at Catalyst are running a pure open source, open stack based cloud service here in New Zealand and they're going to donate $500 worth of cloud hosting to someone here today. Yay. And just to keep an international flavour, we're actually going to donate it to somebody based in Denmark. Jesper Brower. <laughs> now, <laughs> we've kind of reached a certain point. Though it's also apparently a very special day. <laughs> and I wasn't going to do this, but then a whole bunch of people came up and arm bent me a few minutes ago. So I'm sorry, B Dale, but I'm afraid it's B Dale's birthday.
Isn't this incredible that you know, participants in this conference are willing to give up some very important family time and come and spend it with you? So I think Bedell deserves a happy birthday. This is family. <laughs> yes. But I think we need to move on. So, I really need to... Thank you. Yeah. You kick it off, I can't sing. <laughs> Bedell has been a terrific uh, confidant and, and, a, and a terrific force to open source in general, but particularly to myself and Cherie. We've known him a number of years, so when I phoned him and said, there's this friend of yours and can you have a word with him and see if we can do something? He went, I've got an idea. Please thank Mr. Bedell Garby. No, that should just While be Bdale is getting ready, there's another birthday boy at least. There's a Juan who also has a birthday today. Right there. I'm sure there are other people too. So. <laughs> hey, we need to redo your extra and uh... It's a bit eerie that Linus knows all of your birthdays. Mm -hmm. 